Hey guys, today I want to share a pretty basic node that I made with you called Herringbone Sampler. It's just a node which helps with creating herringbone patterns inside of Substance, and it ended up saving me some time, so I figured it would probably be a good thing to share with everybody. Um, but the first thing you'll want to do is search for a sampler, or just type in herringbone, and uh, this node will pop up. So once you have it placed, you'll probably notice that uh, the parameters all look super similar to a tile sampler with um, the addition of a couple more features. Um, and that's because this whole node is based off of a couple tile samplers, basically. So we have all of our standard inputs here that you'd normally have, and you can also plug in a custom input if you want for getting like, specific variations in your bricks if you want to. Um, then down here, just um, X and Y amount, pretty standard stuff from just the tile sampler again. Um, there is one new feature which I added, which is to fix tiling errors that you might encounter when you're using this. So you can see like there's some weird artifacts going on on the edge, and you can just fix it using the fix tiling button. Um, there's also this X and Y size here. Um, this is just for adjusting the scale of your bricks on the X or Y axis. And uh, then there's just global scale right below it as well. Um, and I think the rest of these I'm not really going to go over too much, um, except for some of the things that I added, since these are all just base features inside of the tile sampler. So if you need to look up any more documentation for what some of these things do, um, I would just recommend looking up tile sampler documentation for Substance Designer. And um, one other thing in here is the pattern rotation, or sorry, image rotation uh, multiplier, and that just rotates the pattern seamlessly. Um, so this can be useful for if you just want to change the orientations of your bricks on the fly. Um, then down here, just basic positioning stuff and color random stuff. Um, just all stock stuff again from the tile sampler. Um, there's also a feature I added for enabling a flood fill output. This is just kind of useful for if you don't want to create a flood fill node. You can just hit that button and then just start plugging this into all your flood fill nodes. Um, so that's kind of a useful thing. Um, but that's pretty much it for this node, really. Um, there's not much else to it. I'm also going to leave a link to um, a bunch of different learning resources that I used. There were some awesome uh, videos that I watched from Josh Lynch and some on YouTube and even some stuff that I referenced on uh, Stack Overflow. Um, so I'll leave all those uh, learning resources available to you guys uh, if you want to learn how to do something like this on your own. Um, but with that, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you around.